What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Welcome back to another mother freaking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just get high of you. Cause he doesn't feel the same. And a lot of girls. And today, baby, y'all already know what's going on in this video today, man. Shout out to the voice for the people reacts. Miss Kim over there, man. She just dropped another video. All right. So we're going to get right into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend today. Ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Kelly in her human realm. I'm so glad her mother came and visited because her and her mom together is funny as hell. I don't know how she can do these episodes without her. I, I can imagine. All throughout the episode. So her mom, real quick, I'm not going to give it all away, but her mom was just being a mom, overprotective, and she felt like the baby needed to be checked, which Kayla Nicole had a nurse come to the house. The baby got checked, but the nurse, Kayla Nicole, and her mom together were funny as hell. Please watch the episode. <laughs> we're funny as hell. Go check it out. It's well <laughs> worth it. So on to my next topic. You heard from baby mother, Tiana. I think that's her name but really yesterday she's experiencing postpartum hair loss she got oh nervous, shit she reached out to the community on instagram and asked is this normal that's Which tragic is, this happens to mothers who just gave birth between four to six months they do experience a lot of hair loss it can mm. be a little bit it can be a lot she's experiencing a lot which made her very nervous let me know in the comment section down below if you or anybody that you know of has experienced losing their fucking hair man losing your hair after you have a baby that shit has got to be traumatic, man. Let me know in the comment section down below. And that's why she reached out to Instagram. Here's what she had to say. <laughs> if I had to go to oh, hey, for that baby, I don't care. I don't have no regrets. <laughs> So not only is I know Tiana that's right. experiencing this, but Kayla Nicole also stepped up and said that she's experiencing this as well, which made her very nervous. Kayla Nicole posted, seeing this made me feel so much better. Episode 4 shows me during a time I suffered postpartum hair loss and I didn't want it here. But now I don't care. It's normal and more moms need to see that. I felt embarrassed because I didn't know it was a thing. This is me in episode 4. That's crazy because you really don't hear about that happening, y'all. So many people forget to discuss what happens at the birth. Your body still goes through dramatic <laughs> changes. This was my hair loss around 4 she's months ago. As mothers, we strong, we go through a lot, but it can be scary sometimes, especially if this yeah. is the first one. So, y'all leave that comments down below, let me know what you're thinking. So, yesterday, it I is such a fucking blessing for babies to come into this damn world, man. Let me know in the comment section down below if you yourself have conceived a child. Is that what it means? Conceived? Whatever. If you have had a child in your lifetime, man, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your experience. I want to know your experience having a baby. I just can't imagine. Let me know if it was a C-section or a natural birth. Let me know some of the challenges, challenges that you've experienced. And also let me know, man, how great of a feeling it was when you actually got the baby into the world, you know? After nine months or however many months, because I know sometimes they're premature or whatever, but let me know how it felt to actually have your baby be on the outside of you, from growing inside of you like a plant for so long, to seeing them actually in person, actually being able to hold and care for the baby and nurture the baby. Let me know what that feeling is like, man, because me, I ain't ever going to have that feeling. Never say never, but I just cannot picture myself ever having a baby for myself. My girl, you can handle that, okay? But me, I'm good. So let me know in the comment section down below, man. What was your, la, 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 la. <laughs> what was your experience? having a baby. I recorded on Carmen and Corey, and I got a little deep, you know, I gave a lot of my opinion in that video, but in this video, we get straight to the point. Corey yesterday made some comments, and right. he tried to say it wasn't about Carmen, but Carmen ended up responding to it, because obviously, uh -huh. it home, and it felt like he was talking to her. She said, the status is definitely about me. There mm. I said it, because guys always want to play victim as if they're not the ones who created the insecurity. Mm. Trust. No matter what a guy does or how good he's being, the trust was broken multiple times, but mm -hmm. guys can't take when girls feel how they feel, because of them so they make posts like this to play victim. I don't mm. understand how people expect me to trust and believe after so many downfalls. I have such a good heart though, shit don't even make no sense how motherfuckers can step on that. I'm nowhere near perfect, but I'm you can have a good heart but still be a dog ass nigga, okay? Now I don't wanna call Corey a dog ass nigga because was I there for every cheating experience? No. But from what I've heard Okay, in the media, I will say in the media, okay, because we don't know what the fuck happens when these cameras go off, but in the media, he is portrayed 
as a dog ass nigga. So with that being said, okay, I'm just going off of what the media is saying, okay? I will say that just because you're a dog ass nigga does not mean that you don't have a good heart, does not mean that you are not a genuine person, and that does not mean that you don't mean well, okay? It just means that you just out here and you just doing you um, with a girlfriend, okay? Which is not nice to your girl, but at the same time, you know, shit is real, shit happens, okay? And he's young, he's getting it, he's successful, he got money, you know what I'm saying? He has influence, and bitches is gonna try to get in where they fit in. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. But I'm damn sure nowhere near the dog that a lot of bitches are. Well, your problem is you're trying to compete with niggas that's dog. Compete with niggas that's men, that's doing the right thing. But anyway, mm. a lot of y'all putting it out that Nick actually liked the post when it came to Carmen and Corey, and I mm. think she was trying to be messy when she liked it. I think she agreed with Corey when he said, look at somebody for their personality and not their looks. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday, I kept mm -hmm. using Nick and King as an example. That was the example of their relationship. She kept trying to do things that was appealing to King, and King ended up leaving her anyway. But anyway, let's talk about Jaleel, because yesterday she did a QA, mm. and for some reason, some of us think her cheating on Buddy Mike was real. This was just a prank. But I guess people wanted to hear it out of her mouth if she cheated on Buddy Mike, and here's what she had to say. Did you really cheat? What child consider cheat? Mm. I mean, when somebody asked me what I consider cheating? Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you consider cheating? <clears throat> Is it just having sex? Is it kissing another person? Is it hanging out with a person? Is it texting a person? Let me know what you define as cheating in the comments. I say, doing anything that you wouldn't do in front of your significant other. So, I feel I that. Cheat. I feel that. The question is, did you really cheat? Is no, I never cheated. Oh, okay. Are you and Carmen cool? Yes, me and Carmen is cool. We, we like, cool. we're not close. But okay. we're like a low maintenance friend. Low maintenance friend, what the fuck does that mean? Anyway guys, <laughs> let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Man, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell an angel, tell an uncle Joe, he's still a hard. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. And we out, baby.